As we head into another week of tornado cleanup in Barnsdall, the mayor and emergency management leaders are working to get as much information out to the public as possible. Thanks for joining us here on the CW. I'm Tatum Gwynn. And I'm Jonathan Cooper. They held a community meeting tonight. News on 6's Aaron Conrad was there and joins us live from Barnsdall with what storm victims need to know. Aaron. Well, Coop and Tatum, one of the main topics of conversation here at that community meeting at the football field tonight is FEMA assistance. Mayor, the mayor of Barnsdall here urging storm victims who have not applied for FEMA to do it as soon as possible. And if they've been denied, he says to go back to the FEMA tent for assistance. He says many folks have been denied for simple mistakes on their forms that can be corrected. State and local leaders also addressed rumors going around town that they say are are causing a lot of confusion. Scott Haywood with the state health department is helping emergency management and the city. He tells us storm victims need to make sure that they're getting information from the official channels. Be careful of rumors, be careful what you see out there and above all be patient. Uh, it's real easy to get impatient with everything that's going on. Don't get discouraged. Well, some of those rumors include people thinking that the city or FEMA or someone is demolishing houses before the owner is ready to demolish them. They say that is not true. That's not happening. They say, of course, again, be careful what you see on social media unless it is from an official channel. And the main point of the meeting that happened tonight and meetings like this that will happen in the future is to be transparent as they get further along into this recovery process. They say they know it has been a hard week, but officials say they are headed in the right direction. Live in Barnstall, Aaron Conrad, Oklahoma's own News on 6.